Hi there and welcome to this quick tips guitar lesson. In this video I'd like to talk about a method that you can use to organise scales, arpeggios and chords on the guitar neck. Now there's many ways this can be done but the method that I'd like to share with you today it organises them by having the root start on the 6th string, the 5th string and the 4th string and around each of them positions we're going to see a scale, arpeggio and a chord. Um, a good reason for doing this is because in jazz um, we tend to have chords go by really fast and um, in my previous quick tips video I've talked about why it's important to learn scales and single octaves because of this. Um, so it's also important to learn arpeggios and chords and have these connected together and um, you know sometimes when I'm teaching private students online um, they'll sort of know like you know a C major 7 chord there and they might know an arpeggio might know a major scale there and you know that's okay but when you're playing jazz you really want to kind of see all these things together and see how the scale relates to the arpeggio and how the arpeggio relates to the chord and so on. So this method that I've got um, it connects all these things together so we're going to start out basically by playing a drop 2 C major 7 on strings 2, 3, 4 and 5 of the guitar and the formula we're going to use for this uh, drop 2 chord is root, 5th, 7th, sorry, and then 3rd, root, 5, 7th, 3rd. That's the first chord, the drop 2 C major 7th. And around this chord, we're going to see the arpeggio, which is starting on the 3rd um, fret of the A string. We're going to go root, 3rd on the next string, 5th, 7th, and then... You can play the root again on the uh, fifth fret of the G string there. So there's the chord, and there's the C major seventh arpeggio. And just to complete this um, section of the neck, we're going to play the scale as well, the C major scale. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So just around that chord, I've now got my scale my arpeggio and the chord and I can really see how each of them relates I can see how the arpeggio comes from the scale and I can see how the chords built off um, the arpeggio how it has the same notes just kind of in a different order so that's that string set that's how I like to organize that now this configuration this drop two chord root fifth major seven third this will work on a different string set of the guitar it'll work on strings one two three and four so we can go root 5 major 7 third same chord just on a different string set so we can do the same thing here we can see an arpeggio starting on the 10th fret of the D string root 3rd 5th major 7th root and we can see a C major scale C D E F G A B C all based around that chord there, that drop 2 C major 7 chord. So we've now got two different ways we can play each of these. So the only string set we have left is 4, 3, 2, 1, G, D, A and E. So we can take this C major 7 configuration that we used to begin with, root 5th, major 7, 3rd, and play it on these strings. Root 5th, major 7, 3rd. And around this chord we can see an arpeggio starting on the um, 8th fret of the bottom E string, root, 3rd, 5th, 7th, root again, and we can see a major scale. That's just a drop 3 chord but you can also play the drop 2 chord so we've got the same configuration as the other string sets. So we now have three different C major 7th chords, arpeggios and scales on different string sets across the guitar neck. So I think that's a really good way to start organising some scales, arpeggios and chords. So the next thing I would do, would I'd, I would get the drop 2 C major 7th chord again and I would get the 7th, be natural, lower that a half step, that gives us a C dominant 7th chord. I would then play the um, arpeggio. C, E, G, B, lower the B a half step to get the flat seventh. 
And I'll play the C major scale. Lower that half step to get a C mix and Lydian scale. So then I've got C, a C7 arpeggio. A C, sorry, a C7 chord that was. That was a C7 arpeggio. And I've got um, a C mix and Lydian scale. All around that chord, so I can kind of see how how all these relate to each other. And I would do that for the, the top strings, strings 1, 2, 3 and 4, and the 4 bottom strings as well. Once I'd done that, I would uh, lower the 3rd um, the of the dominant 7th chord to get a minor 7th chord. And I would do that with the arpeggio and with the scale and do that on the different string sets. Once I've done that, I've, I'd do it for the minor 7 flat 5 as well, or the half diminished chord. I'm not going to do that in this video because um, I think it meant quite a long boring video and it would be really good to do it yourself because it will really force you to see what's underneath your fingers. So I hope this video helps you out and um, it gives you some good fingerings that work well and you know are practical in jazz situations. So if you did enjoy this quick tips video lesson please give this video a like and um, if, you, if you subscribe to my channel you'll get free access to all the new jazz and blues guitar lessons that I post. So um, thank you for checking out this video and I'll see you next time.